tonight, myself, Soul Reapers, and not forgetting Cara, investigate the Black Horse Pub in Westgate Wakefield. A big special thank you to everybody involved at the Black Horse. You made us feel very welcome, treat us like royalty. And you now deservedly have the title of the most haunted pub in Yorkshire. Hope you enjoy the video. Sorry for this ride. A shot with more or less everybody behind bar. Oh, and behind bar, yeah. Uh, and then he's, he's going to want to do a few others down the cellar line. Right? Okay. So. Cool. Yeah, back. Well, I'm presuming this is actually going to be in the newspaper as well. Yeah. Yeah, he's, uh, so he's going to want one. There's all kind of behind bar. Right. Where's Andy and Bex? Oh, it's upstairs. He's doing some close up shops and stuff. Some. Really. He loves it though, doesn't he? He loves it here. I think he wants bar in though, doesn't he? Ah, he's he's, he's, he's took the, him down the, cellar, he wants to do a shot with a few on this down cellar, but he wants us all on yeah. this bar shot. Yeah. He says because they're all That's peaches the and bottles and that, it looks, yeah. it looks pretty good like. They want the publicity for pub lights there, isn't it? Yeah, well, they want what people need to know where it is, don't they? Because I, I, I didn't tell anybody on Facebook where the pub was going to be. Yeah, I saw that you didn't tell But I'm, I'll, I'll tell them tomorrow once we've done the yeah. thing. So, because I didn't want anybody coming down spoiling it. Photos took together, aren't we? We're all having his photos took together. Sure. Yeah. Have you got this one? Yeah, yeah. Right. This spot right here, this is where I got the voice. This way you For the EVPs. So th th this will be a good room for recording. Well this is this is where she hanged herself. Oh so someone was up here? Yeah, she committed suicide. So this is That's the one. Mm. <coughs> right. Well, this is the bedroom here that she hanged herself so in. So she actually took a life in this room? Yeah, she hung, hung herself from the beam. Yeah. All over the place, I could think we could get a good shot of this cellar, wouldn't it? But it's obviously up to this yeah, guy where he wants yeah. to. Shall we show you the cellar? Can we? <laughs> you might feel a bit sick though. <laughs> Yeah. 
And it's, it's this right spot here. If we, we want to do some EVPs, try and get them to talk to us. Because yeah. when I came in, mine said my, and she's telling me where to spot, telling me a spot where to speak to them. So right. this, this was it when I came through. For some reason. Does it does it feel quite cold to you? Yes. It doesn't it? Mm, yeah, because like I'm not eating so. Yeah. Cold eating hands on my hands. Because I, when I come down here, I get a sickly feeling. Sickly feeling? Yeah, it's like it's really it's heavy. It's because it's old, it's like you feel it when it's still on there. I'm just thinking whether it's because of electrical wires and stuff, but I'm... Yeah, you, I'm you, a there will be chuffing energy, you know, obviously. Well, when I was down here it's yesterday, which, here, yeah, I'm, I'm getting something now, there's somebody here. Look at that, right, so these, be careful these later on, look, it's packs of device out. Just here, look, on this pump. Oh, they love me, wouldn't they? Yeah, I'm just saying, so when we don't come down, we don't get... In a frenzy thinking that we've got somewhere. So, again, sockets, things like that. Yeah, we'll pick, we'll get all of it. This is all barrel roll area. It does feel a bit. Yeah, I, I do get tweezing when I come down here. Oh, God. But I was down here with Jules yesterday. You feel bad in you're sensitive to it then, you can pick it up for me. Yeah, 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 can you? Yeah, I'll, I'll see them. Because I've seen, I've seen one too. I got, I got told to get out here yesterday, it would have a, a male voice. But I, I'm sick of fucking here, man. Just... Well, I say sensitive, I fucking, I feel of, uh, yeah, like, static on myself. I feel my eye open, you know what I mean? Like I'm in watch. Yeah. But I have heard them, I've felt them, and I've, I've physically seen a couple of spirits with my own eyes. Oh, I, I get really sick. Oh, well, we're going. Now that's not me that's doing that. There's no nothing that skiing that signal off it when I'm on light as you've noticed. I know it is active though, no, it's definitely it's active. Whatever it, that was. It's was not a man-made signal. If that was a spirit that's just done that, that's affected this device, is it possible for you to do that again right now at this moment in time? Boom. On command, command on command. Thank you very much. One last time, just to show the people at home, if you're a spirit, you may like go onto the red light for us. Come on. We're coming back here later to see you. Is that okay? That's crazy, and as you can see, look, that's, it. that's a normal signal. Now, it was on one live for about 30 seconds, wasn't it, before it started? See what I mean? You've got, it's a, little, that, you've got a little bit of a reading from that. Room. But it's not, it's not. Well, this little room, it, that's... That's the main room over there with both barrels in, but it's a bit noisy in there. And it, it can go in like... That's concrete, that's solid concrete, that. There's some in this area. It's not these cables. That light's off. Yeah. So it's not that. It's just on the door. I said it's a funny shape in here. And then. Swear that. That's packs in there, it won't be in there. It's gone. That one packs out before it went. And I said, can you take it to the red light? And that's what, over time, it's done it, but then. It might have took that many seconds for it to mm -hmm. charge itself. Are you still here? You may not go to the red light once more before we move on. I don't like us being down here, I know that. I don't is it, get is a nice it, feeling it, from it. Is it? Here. Oh, he's a bit grumpy. So I think this is going to be a problem area to think. We might, might even have to set up CCTV in down here looking into here. You think probably try and get it? Maybe fetching extension. We'll find we'll, we'll do one somewhere like that. Well the biggest feeling I got was that front bedroom upstairs. That's, oh, yeah. that, that one mega when I went in there, it just did oh, right. it just did me. But mm -hmm. this this little room, this is where they told me to get out. Well I got this too, but I'm getting like a, yeah. I could went to a puke. Yeah. Same. She feels <laughs> really same as me. She feels yeah. We can go upstairs. Go back upstairs then. Yeah, yeah. I think yeah, it's gonna be good down here. That's proper. I don't like I said, I don't know if it's all electric that's running through here or what, but it's fucking making me feel sick. 
Yeah, I'm going to down and snap the beautiful beaches, isn't it? We'll do it tonight. Yeah. You probably get the customers coming in there saying, well, you look a lot taller in real life. <laughs> I'm hoping you've caught something on camera as well. Uh, well I'd like to see those still. <laughs> try to call mine in now. Yeah, I'm trying to get her in. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, it is absolutely gross. Yeah, yeah. I said that, yeah. didn't I? <laughs> I think it was cold before, wasn't it? Yeah, we're freezing. So I just went up the side of Jules then. Yeah. Yeah. Then. Yeah. Then. Yeah. Then. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, I caught yeah, we did a light anomaly, I just caught that. Side of Jules, then. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I caught, yeah, we did a light anomaly, I just caught that. Do you want me to turn the superhead down or up, or is it all right? Oh, can I get one just to bump it on your own? Yeah. Is yeah. that all right? Is it? <clears throat> Are you doing full or just first? Just, um, just head through. Just first off. Just head through. Full or just first off. Just head through. I just full or just first off. Just head through. 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 Can we? Just show that as well. I'll do that and put this camera around. Can we go with which one would look more? That, because people know what it is, who does this kind of thing, wouldn't Should we get rid of the infrared light? Let's put the camera around as well, if you want, so. No, I'm splashing. I'm, so I'm all right, thank you. I'll write it down so that I don't forget. <laughs> tea, coffee, like um, tea. or... Soft drink, please. Soft drink, tea? Yeah. I'll take the Tea one, please. Tea one? I love a pint. You want a pint? A pint, sweetheart. Does anybody else want a pint? No, I'm all right. It's too early for me. I have all that. That's right. Did, 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 did you say it was big or through? Right. We're like, we're, I've still got to go. We're like to have a drink on the night time and get naked, so we're good. <laughs> <laughs> 
it's just a tea, that's it. <laughs> it's not that, that kind, is it? Someone's got some rice coming. You've got your bank card on yeah. Um, uh, I'll give Jules a buzz and see where she is because she's going to come down to between nine and a half past six. Yeah, yeah. must be a bit yeah that's right now. Yeah, um, I can't stop much longer, so if you want to sit down and ask me or, or whatever. Yeah, we'll do that. Yeah, we'll do all that. Yeah. 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 Um, Where's my other one? Seven years ago, we did it. Because landlord, it were about uh, 27 years ago, we did it. Because landlord, it were about uh, 27 years ago, we did it. He opened it up to make a bit more. Of... I thought that were there. Something dropped yeah. on floor oh, upstairs. What's above here? Above that bedroom. Oh, the that. flat. That, yeah. Yeah. But you can't get into this one. Yeah, yeah you can. That's where that. Yeah, that's where oh, is that the bedroom? bedroom? Yeah. Something yeah. just dropped in there. Am I right to lock that room? Sorry. Am I right to lock that room? Okay, I don't need no fucking thing. Put in the parents for the girls, Steve. I wonder if that would track her then. Can if she paid on camera? It's potential. Mm. Huh? It's potential. Because, like, it could only ever bring two people, two stick figures up at once. But if an anomaly comes in, Come forward, Bex. Yeah. You get like a circle on you. It's your, it's up, chopping your hands up. It's because their legs are so dead. Oh, yeah. So that's why it does, mate. It's like there's another. So if somebody left screen, yeah. it's a pick Bex up as one yeah. instead. Uh, it's a shame it do not pick multiple, like, you know. But I suppose I remember being outdated. Yes, I got that. And I just said the word draft. And that were over there. And again. That was definitely nice there. Yeah. Spirits in this room because right now I want you to go and stand next to Mark. It's the guy in the green top. Oh, 
Lions. Lions moved. See, because we're not, you're not saying, oh, we're ignoring um, starting, start to the shit, aren't we? Carla, show yourself. Can you do that again, please? Run that noise again. Tell me now. Yeah. There's an outside door that leads outside there at the bottom of the stairs. That's how much I've got to fix that. I didn't put up in there and just left it all around here. Yeah. <laughs> vintage fucking furniture. Mm. Who's the man in the cellar? Man. Does she sometimes do this? Play a little bit harder. If there's nothing nasty, then she sometimes won't bother coming in. Really? If there's no threat to me, then she won't bother. Right. So she obviously she's off doing other things. So it's on the. Well, I, I haven't heard it for a while. Because I'm getting some on my legs here. 
I've had it a few times and when I've been sat in this room, I had something going past my legs, it's like an animal or something, like a dog. But I always get it at looking calf level. It's like there's a dog here, or a cat. Oh, Hi right, guys, so we've all split up now, Becky's on the top floor, the, the spirit of the lady that actually owns herself is only communicating with Becky, and um, we don't know if this is because she's a female and she prefers the company of a female, or whether she's been affected by men during her lifetime, we just don't know, but for some reason, the spirit upstairs has set the REM pod off twice for Becky, he's sent the K2 off as we speak, and he's actually gone down into the cellar to do his lawn vigil, Mark's actually gone down with him, he's going to be doing something else, in the different part of the building. That's just shit me up. Um, <laughs> fucking hell. I'm going to sit here and I'm going to concentrate on some EVPs. I've got the Connect Sensor actually re recording this room. I'm also going to be finding photos throughout uh, my time in this, in this room. So I'm just going to sit on the sofa there. This camera's going to keep rolling. I'm just going to call out and do EVPs and then obviously listen back. Alright, so we've come down here, myself, Andy and Mark, we're going to set up a CCTV system to actually watch this general area now. And we're having this photo taken in early on. Um, we actually got some lighting on the table, Mark, we've got a camera. Yep. Um, we've got a potential EVP, but we can't physically say if that's paranormal or not, due to the fact that the lady that was down here, but their mouth was actually moving at the time that the EVP was captured. Um, right, so we need, we need to find here a plug for this. This has got to be it, it's a big one. grey one, isn't it? <laughs> I don't know what I like, that's bug shuts down. Well, what's it doing? Just turn the bug off first. That's sweet sound, isn't it? That's going to be good. Yeah, that's right, the... so we want this one. On this box, yeah. So, have we just touched it? We've touched it. Someone, yeah. Look. We've got that thing now. Hello. Yeah. Here it goes. <laughs> Anybody want to speak to us? I thought someone touched my finger then. Just like a little. Yeah, it was almost like a little dab on my finger. I looked at it then. You know, like you think you got a fly on it? Not laying on it. Not all. Oh, it's all me. Imagine laying down here. That could have been there. Because it sounds like it came from over there then. What do you think you heard then? Yeah, that's I thought that, yeah. that's what I heard. Yeah. Yeah. But I, I wasn't too sure whether it was all oh, that lot rattling or something like that. But it sounded like a voice to me, it sounded like. Does anybody here want to speak to us? Did you? Like a fucking, like a sort of flick to the side of me, like, you know. But all I see is because my eyes go like fucking. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I know you see it, don't worry, I want to hear something because you jump. <laughs> the only reason why I watch the videos, see you fucking jump. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Come on, who's a grumpy guy down here? We brought you a gift. Do you like presents? We brought you some chocolate. Well, they can't even switch on top. Huh? Oh, okay. <laughs> God. No, you, you do an interview. I, I, I just want to film it as well, so... Got me to just look at both Don't bother about looking at mine, just do yours. Okay. Um,
stuck, okay. I've stuck rem pod on them just in case. What's this fact that goes off all That's what I've said. It looks fucking mint, no one's got one another. Oh, yeah. the glitter. Seriously, yeah, sweetie. Does that glitter? <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Change that for a black one. Just sit down. You don't want me, you don't want me sitting there with you because I don't know any. That's it. <laughs> I'm sitting back here just. Yeah, I was there just to make sure you didn't have glitter at the right, side. That's of you. Fine, yeah, yeah. Um, can you tell Hannah to let me use the coffee machine, please? Because it won't work. Well, it's not working again. I don't think you said that's messed about with it. It might be that bear. <laughs> <laughs> Every time I go for myself. It don't work. No. Oh, I'll, I'll, I'll ask her to stop messing with it. Is your phone's on silent, flight mode? In case you're not, I'll put mine in another room actually, because mine buzzes. I'm going to need your phone. 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 Yeah, Keep them in though when Tony does that, yeah, that'll be all right. It happens every time. Three, <laughs> two. Tonight saw Reaper Paranormal have travelled to Wakefield where we're investigating the pub known as the what? White Horse. Fuck you, know, there we go. <laughs> Fuck it off. Yeah. Tonight saw Reaper Paranormal have made the short journey to Wakefield where we're investigating the pub known as the Black Horse. Now, already Tony earlier on when we come this morning and actually had a look around, um, we had the strange experience in a room just over there, which was used by the Freemasons. Can you just describe to people what actually happened? Well, we walked into the room so I could explain what the trapdoors in the wall and the door were for. And as we walked in, the piece of furniture that was against the wall uh, that had a swinging handle yeah. on it just started tapping on its own. Um, yeah, it actually, and stopped. Yeah, it actually freaked you a little bit. But yeah, it, it did feel actually, yeah. A cold. Yeah burst of energy that just come out of nowhere. Now, shortly after that encounter, I tried to record it on my phone, um, we realised that if you moved around, it did actually say it off. However, at that particular time, we were perfectly still, weren't we? We were stood still. We were actually talking about the Freemasons and what these slots in the, in the door and the, the wall were used for. Um, now, how long have you actually been running this, this pub for? I've had this pub for just over three years, about three and a half years now, and it had been closed for three years prior, prior to us taking it and refurbishing it. And how soon from moving in did the activity start? I didn't really notice anything to be fair. Uh, my daughter and the staff um, sort of half jokingly mentioned noises and banging on the wall and footsteps and uh, I've never really sort of believed in things but having experienced footsteps above me for the first time when I was in the office, which is the old Freemasons yeah. room, I discovered that there was nobody else in the building. The member of staff that I thought was in wasn't in, and I could clearly, clearly hear people walking uh, uh, from one room to the other mm -hmm. above. Now, what's interesting about this guy, is I've just heard the noise then, what's interesting is, above here, there's furniture that's 150 years old at least. Part of the pub, when it was refurbed, was just totally blanked off by the brewery. Right. Uh, they dropped the ceiling and just cut it all off and we cut a hole in to put some plumbing through to put another boiler in and we discovered um, two floors that were totally exposed right up to the old beams. You can see it on the outside of the building but on the inside it's just a flat roof at about seven feet and inside there is the old original pub furniture all stacked up. Uh, access you can see from one side yeah. of the pub to the other. And it's actually in there, the axe, isn't it? it? It's in there, so there's part of this accommodation that's not used at all and hasn't been used for probably a hundred years. Now, you said that earlier on when we met you, you said that you were kind of sceptical in terms of the paranormal. Then we got that kind of little experience upstairs that you actually saw the thing swinging, yeah. didn't you? Uh, Did that kind of get a little bit of something going on, you know? There's definitely something that's happening in this pub, definitely. And it's not just upstairs here, it's in the cellar. Yeah. Um, for definite in the cellar, because a lot of the girls don't like to go downstairs, that's where the ice machine is. Yeah. They don't like to go down to get the ice on the room. Because they've felt a door closing, they've felt somebody oh. behind them. Um, and just a, a feeling of not being on their own down there. Um, is that the worst room in the in the pub? Would you, um, say, or would you say it was up here? I think upstairs is. I think up here in this old part of the uh, building. I think it's the front area that was the uh, Masonic rooms 
uh, that have been untouched for, from what I can gather from when the place was built in 1818, I think it was. And you actually showed me some old furniture that's actually still from that time. Yes. Just, just sat there, and said, um, you know, the Masons were, were known for the secret society and, and you know, they're in league with the devil and Satanism and things like that. There were a secret door just on the stairs where they used to sneak in. Yeah. Is that correct? Um, um, but it shocked me by saying it's that part of the building that you feel is the worst. I, I went to cellar earlier and I thought it went in cellar. But I felt physically sick to my stomach. And I don't know if that's all the electrics that's running under there or what, but we had it on the K2 meter, didn't we? Well, and after we'd uh, done the, the sweeps. Um, we've just been down there again and Andy's just been touched. Yeah. On, hand, on his hand, on his finger, yeah. while we're setting up. Um, so basically, we're going to give this place a full investigation tonight and we're going to see if this place is haunted. Oh, quick, quick, I need to add something as well, quickly. Um, right, so earlier on, you mentioned that someone had been hung in this building, or they'd hung themselves, is that we, correct? Uh, we were told that in the, the front area there, off, off one of the beams, that somebody had hung themselves, and it's some considerable time. Uh, it may have been when it was an old hotel before it was... Uh, so it's not always been a pub, this it, place? It was a, an inn and a hotel, uh, originally, right. uh, and it was known as the Black Horse uh, Hotel. Um, so they were letting rooms here. Yeah. Um, over the years it's been added to uh, and altered. Um, but uh, it's one of the stories, and also a story of a fire in, in what the was the shop fair. that was attached to the pub, uh, where somebody died. Uh, I've looked into the history on that, I can't find... It's really hard to find history yeah. about this place, which is, is bizarre with it being actually in the city. Yeah. It's really, really hard to, to find some history now. I don't know if that's anything to do with the Masons actually using this building or, or whatnot, yeah. but it's really, really difficult to find any information. So tonight we're going to investigate the Black Horse pub, and hopefully we find proof of the afterlife. What about the Hannah that was Hazel Grave? Hannah Hazel Grave. This is if, if you mention that bear. with the bear, because that, that's... So Vernon wants to have this, so I'll get you on this. So Mike Vernon was actually investigating with us tonight, was invited us to join him. Actually picked up on something in the kitchen area, didn't you? Um, I was in the kitchen with him earlier on. And he explained that he met a spirit who called himself Hannah. Now, can you just describe to people what you picked up on with this Hannah? I'm, uh, somebody said hi to me as I walked into the kitchen, uh, introduced ourselves as Hannah. Um, I did a little bit of research and I did come across a, an article concerning uh, Hannah Hazelgrave, um, 1843. Um, there used to be a, a resident bear that used to live at the Orangey Building in the Botanical Gardens okay. and it escaped. And it was um, the bear escaped, and the bear killed her right outside the pub on the side street. And the actual uh, the inquest into her death, uh, 1844, was actually held in this building, this very building. So, so there's, there's a lot of history then, isn't there, to this place? Yeah. So what we're going to do, guys, is we're going to actually start at the top, work his way down throughout the night. Obviously, with the cellar being the last place that we'll investigate, um, and it's being voted by our fans. <laughs> Ridiculously voted by our fans, um, <laughs> in double figures by our fans. <laughs> so thank you for not choosing me again. <laughs> so thank you for not choosing me. I appreciate it very much. But yeah, we're going to get this investigation underway. Boom, done. Thank you. That was it. fascinating. That was really good. I didn't really mess up, good, didn't up as much. I had to get that bit yeah, in yeah, very yeah, asked yeah. if I told you. You've got to subscribe to the video. That, that was brilliant. brilliant. Yeah, that was absolutely brilliant. brilliant. Yeah, we've got like 80 on video or something, yeah. Yeah, we've got a lot of films. Oh, yeah, episodes, full episodes. Yeah. Yeah. You know, all That's credited it. up and everything. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Mine are better yeah. if you like me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if you like James Bond. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Yeah. So I'm Tony. I'm Tony. Oh, okay. That one brilliant interview. Really enjoyed that. That one fascinated Tony. Brilliant, works. brilliant, Kyle. Loved it. So let's light the lights off now. Then it's black. Okay. Press it. Oh, Max it out. Yeah, it's not sick if that goes off tonight. <laughs> <laughs> hey, pizza should be here soon, guys, if you're up for your dinner. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. 
before you get started. <laughs> 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 it's December and we're in that Sheffield, like, and in that Right, so we've got everything up here, haven't we? Um, I heard you on the phone to that, Nick. You know, like, for the deadline. He said that it was going to be um, with us tomorrow we, uh, once you had your contract. Well, Sam is. Uh, I'm right, going to check if Sam has stayed here. Yeah. She is. He said he's going to have to get it tomorrow, that's not going to be. Has she showed you up there? Yeah, she's not going to be able to see it. Above the earth. No, obviously, I'm telling you, that for sure. That's where she's going to be. She's here, the only thing I'd have to do is for, for security is to lock yeah we don't mind about when yeah. office at all um, well Jamie said he'll take over from me oh that's Jamie massive. said he'll there stay till so whatever that. hour in the morning and lock up go. for you yeah. right cool. so you, you've got that he's got this pub. Jamie's all over yeah. it yeah, yeah. No, yeah. I, I, don't worry we'll respect yeah. it that we always do it so we appreciate yeah. that we've been able to we can out. tell you're good lads don't worry I'm glad yeah can't wait to get started it's good isn't it yeah loads of EVPs man I'm always rolling a card with it. We've some well, this is, this is the spot for the EVPs. I've been told that already. It's when they speak to you. It's basically, it's a little voice recorder, and what you do is you leave it in a room or you ask questions, and then you have a pause in between each question, maybe 10 15 seconds. You play it back, and you listen to see if anyone's answered you. Now, we've had voices appear on these that's there's no one weird apart from yourself in a room. So it's like. See, that makes my eyes water a little bit. Landlord, it were about uh, 27 years ago we did it. This landlord, it were about uh, 27 years ago we did it. This landlord, it were about uh, 27 years ago we did it. He opened it up to make a bit more. I thought that were there. Something that dropped yeah. on the floor upstairs. Oh, what's above here? Above that bedroom. Oh, really? In the flat. The, yeah. Yeah. But you can't get into this one. Yeah, yeah you can. That's where that, I yeah, that's that's that the bedroom? Yeah. Something yeah. just dropped in there. Am I right to lock that room? Sorry? Am I right to lock that room? Good luck, Andy. Uh, <laughs> 
Have you put chocolate on it? <laughs> I bet an <laughs> <laughs> Flashing that. It's when you're flashing that. It seems to do it. Yeah, mate, it's all right. 
I think I caught a light anomaly then. I caught a light anomaly moving across the bedroom. It was going fast. Yeah. Right, so we're currently swimming in the room where it's believed that a lady took a life many years ago. She actually hung herself by using a chair. She uh, she cast the of the chair above the neck. Um, this is what we've got here, guys. This is what we're excited about. This, this is our modified REM pod. It's our LED. So we've made this guy. We've basically put an offering of chocolate on here. Now Vernon actually believes or says that it works. That it's an offering to the spirits and it actually increases activity. So we're going to test that. Already we've picked up a kind of skeletal shape, haven't we, Becky, already in this yeah. room while we're setting up. Um, but unfortunately that moved on fairly quickly. What we're going to do now is we're going to actually leave this room sealed off. We're going to head down, take a short break before carrying on with our investigation. Touch that skull, please. Can you touch that skull, please? Oh, you come back, won't you, and do some more? Right,